you once again for catching up with me. If you're new here, my name is Christabel. Um, I really do appreciate your time on here on this channel. If you're returning or if you're already part of this little family we have ongoing on YouTube, thank you so much for your support. God bless you. I love you so, so much for always joining me on here. I'm gonna start off with um, accommodation. I'm supposed to look here with accommodation. So, um, um, personally, if you ask me, I would suggest to you to go in for an apartment as compared to going in for a hotel or Airbnb because um, apartment is less expensive as compared to the hotels um, in Accra, Ghana and also you have your convenience i mean you can invite your friends over um so many of these apartments have got pools and gyms in their cafes restaurants so it's very much convenient to go for an apartment if you ask me so if you if you're battling with you know making the choice between apartment hotels and airbnbs definitely go for apartment um, also, the location of your apartment should should also be a factor when you make your decision, because um, in December, okay, December in Accra always comes with like hectic traffic, and so it is. It's it's more convenient if your apartment is in the center of Accra, where most of these events are going to be held. Um, say cantonment or Laboni or Usu or airport residential or East Ligon area is a perfect location but say um, if your apartment is somewhere around um, maybe um, Tema or Kaswa I mean you're gonna battle with so much traffic I'm not saying don't go for it you can go for it because most of these events and late in the night um, going all the way to these areas isn't even that safe if you ask me you know it's quite a journey so if you have the option choose anywhere in the middle of or in the center of Accra okay that would be perfect for you now moving to transportation um so Okay, so I'm going to give you the options you have first and then I'm going to break it down one by one. So you have the option of Trotro, Trusky or um, public bus and you have the options of um, Uber, Bolt and I believe Taxify. I'm not sure if that is in Ghana but I, I think so. So you have those options as well and then you have the regular taxis in town okay and and then you have the option of renting a car or driving your own car in Accra okay so for the public buses or the trust keys I mean obviously those are like very cheap if you ask me anybody can afford to uh, um, <laughs> but then again the inconvenience is like mad okay so you were packed with so many people in a bus and you cannot control the time um, whatever time you arrive at your destination is dependent not only on the traffic in town um, it is dependent on the number of stops you you, you guys make um, on the road is dependent on so many other factors it's so inconvenient I highly do not recommend but then again if that is what you're able to afford go for it we also have the option of the normal regular taxis in town um, so those are okay those are okay don't get me wrong but then most of these taxi drivers um, Feel the need to overprice, okay? Overprice during this festive occasion. So, say if the normal price was say 6 cities, they're probably gonna charge you say 12, 15 cities, okay? And if you ask me, that is like ridiculous. That's like 
Yeah, send me. Why should I do that? <laughs> you know, they 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 always overprice um, during festive seasons like that. So I do not recommend using like a normal regular taxi. Um, plus, you cannot even control the pricing. They always they can always change it. Right? Say you guys encountered like tech traffic in town, and you guys agreed on a certain amount, even after you arrive at your destination, they can literally tell you you have to top up because there was so much traffic in town like let it make sense man so i highly do not recommend like the normal regular taxis in town i don't recommend options of uber bold taxify those are to me more reasonable because at least you have an idea of um how much you're supposed to pay or how much you're going to pay for and plus um it's much more safer because um, you have the details of your driver, details of his car, his or her car, and all of that. So I, I, I mean, if you do not have your own car, uh, you're not able to afford um, to rent a car, then I highly recommend um, going for those options. So that is much easier. You know, all you have to do is input the address, your destination address. And voila the last option is um, driving driving by yourself or driving on your own so um, if you are fortunate enough to maybe have some car back home or have a family who's willing to give you his or her car to drive around <laughs> God bless you so good for you um, but if you do not okay um, I highly recommend you to rent a car, okay? Given all the options, um, the highly recommendable one, or the one I would highly recommend you to go for, is to rent a car. That is if you own a genuine um, international driver's license, okay? Ghanaian driver's license, then I would highly recommend you to rent a car. It's just so much convenient and Plus, if you ask me, using Uber, Bolt, Taxify, and all of that consumes money. It might, it might seem like, oh, I just, I just use 70 cities, I just use 80 cities, I just use 50 cities. But if, if you do the add ups, um, or the add up, it's, it's a lot of money. I actually have um, um, a car rental plug who literally charges 200 cities per day for like sometimes four wheel drives and if you ask me that is like mad like i would rather go for that than you know use um uber here and there because in a day you can spend about 300 cities using uber taxify bolt because semba um because the demand is definitely going to be or obviously going to be so high um it's quite inconvenient you have to wait for minutes or hours just to you know um get um, the services of these um, transport companies and that is quite inconvenient to me so I would rather rent a car and just drive by myself and um, thankfully we have GPS so all you have to do is just put in your address and then get the direction to your destination for most of these online food vendors um, especially those who do not have like stations okay stations where you can go to eat um all you have to do is pre-order a day before okay so you call them or you text them you pre-order and the next morning you have the food delivered to you that that is super 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 awesome <laughs> if you ask me so you can have your jollof your fried rice your banku your yam fufu just name it tuzafi just everything now you can find everything online to do is that um, most of these restaurants or these eateries um also offer online um sorry delivery services as well so all you have to do is just call them and have the food delivered to you so i mean it cuts down the whole inconvenience waking up early in the morning and then having to drive all the way to restaurants or you know all of that is you know cancelled now so all you have to do pre-order or call to order 
same morning have the food delivered to you so i highly recommend you using online food vendors i mean um because it's it's very convenient yeah so let's go for it so if you have any questions as usual feel free to put them in the comment section or send me a dm as i said earlier and i'm definitely going to get back to you so i think that would be all for now um do your due diligence before making a decision i mean i have given you my views on um these um interesting topics um but do your due diligence and make the right decision that suits you your pocket you know your, your financial state okay and just go for go for what, what will suit you best okay and let's all go have fun in Accra Ghana but don't forget to stay safe okay and pack the right stuff for your vacation in Ghana there's so many videos on YouTube with recommendations um, as to um, the, the, the stuff you need for your trip to Ghana in December so yeah you could check them as well um, I haven't made any video in regards to that because there's so many of them so I decided to you know use another part you know talk about stuff that people haven't really spoken on so yeah um thank you once again please do subscribe to the channel i'll be doing lots of vlogs when i go to ghana so you don't want to miss it i mean you'll be here supporting and um like the video comment on there share love you so much keep coming <laughs>